In Arabic, the name of Muhammad, Muhammad's got many names, but one of the most important name is Mustafa. Mustafa in Arabic means he who was selected. And the idea is that since the time of Adam, the first human being, God selected from every generation the best of all the descendants of Adam. So there was a, some kind of natural selection, one generation after the other. Until at the end, he selected the best of the best of the best of the best. And this is the Prophet Muhammad. And he chose him to give him his word, the exact word of God, and of course selected him to be the prophet that will bring to humanity the finest of all revelations. This is Islam. But we are talking about a culture which is highly rich, highly interesting, and highly rewarding. And that's what the most important thing. It's highly rewarding because it basically for the ordinary person, it's a very, very simple religion. I'm not talking about philosophers, I'm not talking about um, academicians, I'm not talking about, uh, about the great theologians, I'm talking about the simple person for whom Islam is the most rewarding of all religions. The end of the story, if he is a good Muslim, when he dies, he is going to go straight into paradise, and paradise is described in the most colorful way possible in the Quran. And um, this, uh, for this reason, I think we should speak about Islam with um, great respect. And not just, you know, as I can hear some people say, well, it's Islam, it's not, you know, it's not. And it's not a simple thing that a person like me and others like me, and like, uh, me in the academy, um, uh, in fact, uh, dedicated their life for the studying of this culture. Now, Islam is not a religion in the ordinary, simple way of thinking. Islam is a culture which comprises everything and most of all it is a culture based on revelation and it is a culture which is based on a legal system it is basically a legal system it is a legal system which comprises everything it comprises the life of the